Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 14, Week 4. Today, we got Aqua T and Hunger Force Staff. We got rankings of a scrub. And uh, with us here today is uh, the former King of Stand-Ins. Uh, currently one of the kings of the offlane in this season. We got Vex. How's it go, Vex? What the fuck is Vex, bro? I'm Dusty. Oh, sorry, you're Dusty. Well, I forgot. So, good to be uh, here. It immediately got a notice I'm always standing in for ATHF. Also, immediately got a notice that uh, the <laughs> this week we had Cheeseburger cast in Vex's game. This and now we're gonna have Vex cast in Cheeseburger's games. How's about that? Witch doctor. Right. I don't think Cheeseburger cast my games, but yeah. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. He uh, he did the bean tin and uh, yeah, and okay. So shoulda shoulda. He cast my games before, like in like eighty twelve. So oh, yeah, there you go. I got my revenge now. Techies and bounty hunter going down for rankings. Oh, Undying and Batrider going down for ATHF. Immediately banning out these guys. I mean, not Techies even like a ban. second. Yep. It's interesting. Looking at Gotham there. It's definitely for him. Really? Yeah. Are, do they like force face techies a lot or what? Yes. Oh. I mean, Gotham would if you if you Radiant let him. Team first pick Witch Doctor, by the way. Omni Counter by a first pick Omni Knight. Interesting. I feel like uh, so far Omni Knight has been. Um, I think Omni Knight, so far this season, is revealing himself to be a very execution-heavy hero. More execution-heavy than most people seem to give him credit for. Got a primal beast here. Just kind of feels... Good hero. Do what? Really good hero right now, I feel like. I don't personally play it that much, but really good. Hey, he's uh, he's got a 0% win rate in LD2 Dude, so far this season, so you know. Really? Yep. Yeah. He's 0-2, which uh, isn't saying too much. It's just too too Yeah. Games, so. Dire team back. Doom reigns. Who is it that was on here recently? That basically it was it was Rai. In your series, actually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah, Doom's still complete trash or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I agree with that necessarily. I think it's fine. Yeah. Against uh, against these two heroes, this is already a good guy against these two heroes, especially once that AoE Doom comes in, like, these two dudes are screwed. One of the worst things that could possibly happen to Primal Beast is uh, he charges into you, and then he hits you in the face, and then your Doom Ring that you've cast on yourself is just there, so now he's just gonna burn to death. Okay, so Wizard's playing offlane, if I'm yes. not wrong, right? Okay. Yep, that's Wizard Paws 3, I'm ranking of a scrub. Radiant team back. And, uh, like I said before, Wizard is, for the most part, concentrating on, uh, one hero on, uh, on his Paws 3 play, though he has also been trying to branch out a little bit recently, you know, notably he has been playing a little bit more Doom, he's been playing a little bit Ten more Tide, he's been playing a little bit more Necro, uh, yeah, in that I've role. Yeah, I've seen him play Necro. Team back. ATHF banning out a bunch of mids. Rankings of a scrub rank banning out a bunch of mids. I think they're likely, well, not the uh, juggernaut there. I think it's likely that uh, Gotham kind of came to the same conclusion that uh, another team did, which Five is rankings of a scrub is going to be very mid dependent. Right? Radiant they're, uh, they're really. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's basically, I think Rankings of a Scrub is very similar to Thugwood and the Thug Chains in that way, in that, uh, the way the, and I, w I, w I would say AOET, the way that mid goes for Rankings of a Scrub is basically how their game is gonna go. So, large amount of concentration on that is, uh, not a bad strat. Five seconds remaining. I hope we can see big mid rotations then, within the lane. It's interesting, PBM is a very large mid-player, but it does not seem like he likes the old rotation that much. 
No, no, I'm saying it's like support rotation. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, uh, oh, okay. he doesn't, he doesn't like it when his, uh, his buddies interfere in his lane. You know, he likes Radiant to team. take it by himself for the most part, Damn. as I've seen it. No, Arisa. They're gonna pick Juggernaut, even though it's banned somehow. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. I mean, uh, on one hand, I really don't like Ursa into Omni Knight, or really Primal Beast for that matter, at all, basically. But then on the other hand, you know, if you've got a Doom on the enemy team, that can really free up a lot of room for him. So I don't think the uh, ban is entirely unwarranted. And yep, we got the Skyrath Mage here. I think that's likely the Gotham Hero. Is there possible? Please get some stuns, guys. I don't know. I feel like Primo is not really a stun. Ten seconds remaining. Well, his ult sure is, and that's up like uh, on a. And it just gets cancelled by Five all that remaining. shit that they have. So. Yeah, that's true. Dire team pick. Got oh, the fat man. Pretty good punch game, maybe for till now. Yep, they still got two more picks uh, up their sleeve on ATHF, but so far it's a pretty good punch game. The only the only issue is that uh, Skywrath Major Silence, especially early on in the game, can really easily screw over Pudge. Not just in the matter of stopping him from dismembering, but also doing that magic damage and making him rot himself to death. Got a Drow Ranger as well, which isn't a bad bad hero here either. I don't think. Gonna be gonna have to be careful to make sure the Primal Beast doesn't just walk all over her. But they do have some tricks up their sleeve to get that done. I don't know, I feel like this lane for draw can be like really fucking bad if I don't know. If they if they do their spell costing right on Aqua Teen Hunger Force stuff, then I don't know. Draw can just like chain feed. On one hand it can be a bad lane for Draw, but on the other hand, if she gets out of the lane phase basically. Yeah, if, if she, game. If she comes out like even or something like that then should be fine. But yeah, if the lane does collapse, it it, can, it could definitely be a hard game to actually turn around with, especially yeah. having both the Pudge and the Doom, just two very greedy fellows uh, at her side. I'd like to see a defensive point in Gust early on to prevent... Yeah, know. definitely true. Like, uh, this is one of these lanes. We always talk about when we talk about Drow, you know, the will the, the will they or won't they with the gust in lane phase and then how it's used if you do get it, but this 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 particular lane it feels very old binary. Okay, I don't know if I like Drow anymore. Yeah. Pretty good clings. Okay. He's definitely gonna wanna get like uh like Rod and Gleepnir very early. Or else the enemy team is going to be able to just kinda walk away from him all the time. But yeah, uh, interesting ban on the timber saw there from rankings of a scrub. I'm not really sure what they're thinking with that one. Maybe they're thinking it's going to be a timber mid, but I, trust me, spoilers. We've seen that in LD2L so far this season. It don't work. So I don't think that's worth a ban. Five seconds remaining. Especially not with a doom, a pudge, and a drow, right? Like that's a really weird game to ban timber in. Yeah. Dire team ban. No invoker. Just looking at PPM some more. I don't know, I think I could kind of believe that it's like PPM on Pudge and they're going to uh, pick up a support last year. Ten seconds it is riskier to do when you uh, when you don't have the last pick, but... Five seconds I mean, so far there's nothing in this game that says Pudge shouldn't be a core, and if you have back. nothing that says Pudge shouldn't be a core, he absolutely should be. That's basically the long and short of it right now. I do feel like they need some stun, regardless of what position they're picking. Yep. For the clinks. For both. For both teams here, really. Both teams yep. are sort of light on the CC. Rankings having more than the ATHF line up. Five seconds remaining. You know, rankings as a cast, that's one real stun compared to like the one half of a real stun yeah. they have in Primal Base. And one day they'll have the Gleep on Clanks. But that's about, again, that's that's 
much later on in the game, and that's Legion's barely equivalent to maybe the Doomstone? Legion, Legion Commander! Okay, so it is gonna be Support Punch. Or maybe Doom. Interesting. Mid Legion? Could be. Or Mid Punch. Alright, probably Mid Punch. Ten seconds remaining. Maybe they're ballsy enough to play Mid Doom. Five seconds remaining. This is decently likely. I mean, uh, in, to see a uh, four doom here, we did see a four doom get some pretty good results. Not only pretty good results, pretty good results against rankings of a scrub back in week three. We've definitely you seen it work. Some ranger. More than likely, yep. No, there's no, there's no way they're picking Wind Ranger. My now he's not grabbing it. Yep, that's pause for doom. I guess uh, last in week three, pause for doom uh, gave rankings of a scrub quite a hard time. So this time, I guess they're gonna be using it themselves. That's uh, learning. Hmm. I gotta say, I have no idea who Kim Wexler Gaming is. That could be two different people on this team. Either that's uh, number one Frank Stan, who is usually their mid, or that's Ooh, who's usually their pause three. Either way, uh, no clue. No clue. Well, who we'll that if we get into the game, I guess. Yeah, we have I don't, two punch. Is that a stand in or? Uh, Manoy's a stand in. I don't. Th I, it might. No, the primal. I, yeah, the primal. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm pretty confident it's one of those two people. I'm just not sure who it is. Huh. See, this is what happens when you guys change your goddamn pro names all the time. Like, <laughs> you think I'm gonna be able to keep up with that crap? Aqua yeah, but bonus. I don't change my main name. Like, if I get into a game, you can see my name. Yeah, that's true. You only change your uh, you only change your username, so. We only don't know who you are when we're in pick phase. When you actually pick your hero, then it's obvious. Yeah. See if I can uh, just really quickly. Okay, that I doesn't tell me. I think anything. it's Frank Stan. I think it's yeah. Frank Stan. Yeah, that looks like Frank Stan. Usually he's mid. I kind of doubt he's going to be this game, though. Only way I know is I think I checked uh, the LD2L side. So. Spoilers, come on. Spoiling yourself this time. The uh, the mystery commentator in uh, in one of the matches, the mystery commentator who, by the way, I just want to say on record that you thought it was Crystal Miku, uh, who played yeah. Pos 3 for Defense of the Flat Earther back in Season 13. Um, huh. The mystery commentator in uh, one of the games that we were doing uh, just randomly spoiled that at one point the uh, life stealer on one of the teams was going to get a rampage at the end of Pig Face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Thirty seconds to battle. Aim hammer jamma. What are we gonna be seeing at this game? Probably not. There's like a zero percent chance that a meme hammer actually lands on the target in this particular game for this team. Like even with the one runner, it's still uh quite hard. I think I like the. Uh... Aqua team the battle lineup. Begins. The ATHF lineup. I think there's a lot of good things about it. Three for one on the runes. There's a uh, there's an invasion bot on the behalf of rankings of a scrub that is not countered by ATHF in any significant yeah, way. I like it less now, but <clears throat> whatever. The the clinks is going to be really hard for rankings of a scrub to answer, especially early on. That's the biggest thing I see out of this. Um, the Drow Lane, how the Drow Lane goes is going to determine a lot. If she completely cracks, it could be very bad. LC also yeah. has quite a lot on her shoulders in this particular game. Just kind of a hard position for Wizard to be in, because again, he's still relatively new to this position. Even if it is Wizard, you know, it is somebody who's trying to learn in this particular lane, which uh, is going to make yeah. a high-pressure game like this a little more daunting for rankings. And Manoy at mid. Yes, Peter's a chat here, just uh, more than willing to just take out Manoy down at mid. Probably the only, per like the last time this guy's gonna stand in this season, if I'm guessing. 
Anyway, now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the game. It's time for the roll calls. So, position one for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Uh, commentated on some games earlier this week. We've got Cheeseburger on the Clinks. Pause two. We've got Mihoi Manoi Doodle Bob himself on the Windrunner standing in over, I believe, ooh. Uh, which is not this, it usually is position, but you know how it goes. Pause three, we've got, I believe, the number one Frank Stan on, uh, on the Primal Beast, and this is you, I'm sorry. This is what you get for changing your name, though. Pause four, we've got Gotham on the Skywrath Mage, captain of the team. And pause five, we've got Bonus on that Omni Knight. Meanwhile, on the other side of the coin, for rankings of a scrub, pause one, we've got Lad of Lads replacing Ramanolo after his career-ending injury. Pause two, we've got PPM, also known as Peter, you know, Peter P. Malkovich, as the Pudge, captain of the team. Pause three, we've got, uh, Wizard on that Legion Commander. Pause four, we've got Katsu on the Doom. And pause five, we've got H's. Replacing the uh, the guy who was originally here for uh, I don't know whatever the hell reason he decided to leave. Something happened to that guy. Who knows? So far, Draw hasn't been able to get any many last hits, but Clinks is in the exact same boat, so it's not quite disastrous yet. Yeah, slow lanes, I think. Unless, you know, Primal and Skyra do something. There is one major thing about this particular game. I do think it's that, uh... If Clinks gets particularly scary, Clinks can just kind of run over Drow. Whereas the reverse mm -hmm. isn't necessarily true, I don't yeah. think. I agree. So that's going to be, like... Like, Drow can make parody with, uh, with Clinks at basically any point in the game. Uh, that's gonna be fine. But, like, you know, if, if Drow takes off, Clinks is always gonna be a worry. Whereas if Clinks takes off, that is not really gonna be true. Drow getting some free time to, uh, just farm up under a tower here and miss some last hits. Shout out to the lads. Just what the doctor ordered. Classic range hero, POV. So far, Pudge, rather dominant here amid. The Windrunner not really been able to stop it to any serious degree, but he is getting rather low. It's getting clicked. Yep. Oh, you yeah, actually dead? Yeah. Oh, alright. Pudge, uh, eats... A tip moment. Pudge eats a shackle, then he eats a power shot, and then he eats dirt. Not a very common position for old PPM to be in, just uh, losing a very early 1v1 trade in mid like that. Oh no, the charge. Yep, Primal Beast, desperately trying to find Lattelides in the jungle here, has not successfully done so. Trail basically has one more level to think about getting Gus, so she doesn't get it here. Uh, I think she's doing herself I mean, quite a heavy disservice. I feel like you get a level 4, but that's just me. I mean, yeah, you would usually want to get it at level 4, but I mean, like, level 5 I is basically she... your last chance. Yeah. I guess she is, like, okay, there's, no, there's like, they're not doing their combo, and, like, uh, maybe I'll, like, get away with it or something. I don't know. Oh? Skyrath is not here, though. The, uh, the get away with it part is oh, no longer is. happening. Yep. Latala is going to take a very casual spill here. Paige is, uh... Still pulls the wave anyway, I kinda like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to her craft. What can I say? Wow, literally all Clank's ass is a javelin. That is a very confident build. Rush. Yep, rushing the hell out of Maelstrom, just going straight from consumables to it. Omni Knight, likely not gonna live this. Yep, just going down very casually here. And poor Clinks is gonna take uh, about two thirds of his health here. Just tolf to the enemy team. First dismember of the game, but Gotham's yeah, he's here. Good, yeah. I'll take that. 
even if Gotham wasn't here, I think. Yeah, the classic kinda support kinda like... contribution. Yeah. You know, Gotham wasn't here, I think it's still kind of likely Manoi gets that kill, but it certainly yeah. makes it a guarantee that uh, Punches can't do anything and just dies, so... It's definitely a... I, I, I promise you, there was definitely still a good reason he did that, even if it, maybe it didn't particularly look like the case here. Okay, Drow is now just uh. completely... <laughs> Yeah, if you want to talk about a drill lane collapse, this is how it happens. Just is now completely just sitting under tower here. I feel like they didn't even try that much though on Primal and like Sky to like you know make insane plays. Oh, Clinks is gonna die though. So there's that. But it seems yeah. like uh, I was talking about you know the lane between like the lane phase on Clinks versus the lane phase on Drought. It turns out they're both terrible. Uh, they're both yeah. just really collapsing really hard at this point. I feel Drow's like the LT, uh, LT Doom Lane could have been like, you know, not that great, but you know. I can get faster. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's just a very aggressive right-click, run-at-the-guy type lane. Manoi is going to be here to try and turn this momentum around. Uh, does succeed here yeah. and it's gonna get a double for this safe lane which is good meanwhile uh, primal beast gets a uh, kill in the off lane on pages who has decided to try and stick around in this lane I gotta say if you're a sport you can't do that this game if you're a support you're facing the lane like primal beast skywrath mage staying around here is tantamount to suicide if drow leaves you leave too you know maybe try to get some teepees under your tower if you want to defend it but like that's the most you're doing Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Budging a little trouble again here, though the Witch Doctor. I like how Gotham have... is just blocking when I. <laughs> Pudge steals a rune here. I will say this much I do Dyer's think, uh. For all that has happened, I do think ATHF is in a very weak position when Doom gets that axe. It's gonna be very hard for. Not Doom, when uh, Pudge gets the axe, it's gonna be very hard for them to do much of anything. Where its first duel is not going to go anywhere due to the Omni Knight W, but still is going to get the kill. Even if it's not a duel win, getting a kill on the puzzle and is still always a good thing. And it's going to be up in a minute anyway, so no big deal. I don't know why Cheese Warrior is still in lane, honestly. Just farm it up, bro. Just go jungle. Pudge finds the Primal Beast. Drow's going to be over here. Get a little chunk of that kill, get an A on her belt here. She ain't bad. Would've been better if she got the kill, but... Hey, she still got some money from it. She's still almost... Assuredly, yeah, doing... No, actually, is actually behind Clinks a little bit at this point somehow. Okay, what is happening? Noi, oh, okay, he's just gonna get a random casual power shot kill on the uh, Witch Doctor before dying. <laughs> And then give Not out the casual idea. if you die. <laughs> die well, I mean, it is still just a casual, just turn around, randomly throw out a power shot <laughs> type kill. Yeah, that's, like, a, that's a Manai moment. Just dive, dive the support and die. <laughs> Pudge has now accu accumulated two fat stacks, one for each death. Uh, so he is. You know, after things started off a little rough in this lame phase, he's starting to turn it around a little bit. His brain is so big. His brain is so big. Pages you being go bottle just on a fake career. I don't know. You got bottle? I mean, if you're actually going to like hook, I guess it's not a bad idea. You know, in a case like this, like just being able to just take the rune and everything, yeah. I feel like if you actually are intending to play Pudge even modestly like he used to be played, then uh, Bottle is not the worst idea. I don't know how necessary it is, but I don't think it's a bad investment necessarily. I don't know, I feel like you need so many like early game items, and you need to rush them, right? Like your Ags, Hood, Vanguard, or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Bottle just seems kind of expensive. That's just me, so it's, it's Also, I don't play mid, mid Pudge, so... It's all about what it what it returns. It's like you know, if you if it ends up saving you six hundred, like over the uh, six hundred fifty, I think it is now. Or is it seven hundred? Uh, six seventy five. Right in right in the middle of what I said. If it yeah. ends up saving you the six hundred seventy five gold, or ends up providing you benefit equivalent to that, 
in terms of uh, accelerating your farm, accelerating your gameplay, then yeah, why not? It's all about how you use it. You know, it's not the size that matters. Something that I heard they, uh, they've been telling you a lot recently, Vex. Who's Vex from, Dusty? Oh yeah, sorry. Something I hear here they've been telling you a lot recently, Dusty. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Doom is uh, gonna very casually go down here without being able to do anything. Actually, kinda everyone is. I feel like, uh... I feel like tower diving against a primal beast in Omni Knight lineup is kind of ill-advised. I think the probably the better way to do that was just uh, have Pudge fish somebody out of the woods and then just duel him. Radiance Middle Tower. Yeah, also the attack. Doom had no mana. Top top yeah. <laughs> not not exactly the prime would, time to be jumping in. Yeah, I would suggest a soul ring or something. I don't know any mana item. I well, like I mean, Doom. that's what you get for Pause for Doom, I guess. You get, yeah. uh, basically nothing so far. He- even though he's Pause for, he's actually still trying to go for Midas, which is a Chad move. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think this is how you do the Pause yeah. for Doom. There's a Doom in my pubs, bro. Bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> Shout out to Katsu. Who I've never talked to, uh, so I don't know if he's like a friend Dyer's of the show or not. Oh, I know Gotham watches. Well, he's a friend of a lot of friends, so. Yeah, there you go. Legion Commander has finished up that armlet here. It's a little late for the armlet, but not the uh, not late enough to be like the end of the world. T1 bot gets knocked down. Of course, he failed to to live up to the LD2 tradition as the T1 top. Uh, for Dyer fell earlier. Smoke ink out here in the middle of the Dyer jungle. Could basically just be for vision, but Lattle Lads is not yeah. gonna like what happens next. Oh, that's a good response well, there by Pages, but... I will not go down. Oh, nice. Good, uh... Ooh! Good dodge by Primal. Good Doom by Omni Knight. Kelsey gets a very free duel one here. Omni Knight just gonna very casually go down. Pudge is still wanting to fight under the tower here, but nobody else on his team wants to go with him. I don't know if you dive. Um. So, here's something that I've observed before about the rankings of a scrub, and this is a place where it has really gone bad for them. The rankings of a scrub, they clearly have communication issues. It's not quite as bad as week one where just they just start randomly taking these like 3v5s for no reason because and then everybody would just kind of slowly filter in at the end of the fight. But that right there, that was a great example of exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you have a situation where Pudge, who is really right now the big, like, uh... I don't want to say the the rock of the team, but maybe you could say that. He's the rock of the team. He's the foundation of the team right now. And Pudge wants to keep going. Pudge wants to just start a dive, right? But the rest know. of his team wants nothing to do with that. This is an interesting I don't duel. know. Yeah, he's having the grace. And whether or not it was right for him to want to, do, to uh, right. dive Good there. I'm going to take out the primal here. Whether or not, not it was right for him to dive there is secondary to the fact that he chose to keep going and then two people on his team chose not to. And Wizard chose not to and then chose to do so when he realized Pudge was still in. And so as a result, everyone just kind of gets cleaned off in this Dyer's entire general area and nothing happens for them except misery. That's comm issues right there. That When I'm talking about comm line issues, that's comm line issues. That's just not... Organized Dota, just to be blunt. Is it this a friend stash? I guess there is only like two people. Maybe. Yeah, um, I mean, the thing is, is that the rankings of a scrub lineup, and this is part of why I said it's not as bad as it was in week one, because it is literally different from week one. The rankings of a scrub lineup is different now compared to when it was drafted yeah. out. Um, their, their entire safe lane has been completely swapped out. We lost Ramanolo and some pause fly who was only here for one week for Latalaz and Pages. Speaking of Pages, getting dove behind uh, T2s here. Doom 
Looking pretty dead, yeah. Oh, Lush tries hook. to hook save, but that is not how, how that particular skill works, unfortunately. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The Doom is not just to, again, to be blunt. I'm sorry, Katsu, uh, if you're watching this. And I'm not sorry if you're not. But uh, the positioning on the Doom here so far it has really left a lot to be desired. It feels like pretty much every time there's something that could be interesting about to happen for rankings of a scrub, the, the way it starts is Doom randomly dies before he's able to get his ult out, and uh, that's just the bottom line. I also think he needs to get rid of this stupid ensnare. This has been doing him literally no favors. Like, mighty <laughs> money. Yeah, at this point I would like find the ice ogre and get the ice armor, so you can get like plus five armor on everyone. You can get the ice armor. You can get the uh, you can get the stupid mana region aura. That would sure come in handy for you, huh? Yeah. Was that a duel? And I gotta see that. Three man smoke here. Oh, it was. It was a duel win. That was a very risky duel on the part of Wizard, yeah. but it definitely paid off. The armlet. Wizard are trying desperately to just armlet toggle the victory toggle. here. Big toggles. Oh, he messed up. Yep. I mean, there was this, it was just kind of an it apple. Is a so like, Doom yeah. is here. Primal Beast is doomed. I think that is literally the case. The wizard is feeling himself, the question mark. Hell yeah. Nine fat stacks on the fat man. Yeah, that was pretty big. Who is, uh, just 500 gold shy of completing his Aghanim Scepter now. So there you go, you know, this isn't like an unusual time, I don't think, for this Ags. It's certainly faster than like how Cheeseburger got his, for example, so... You know, the bottle is okay. Drow is not okay. Oh, this is, no. uh, this is a dead Drow oh, Ranger. No. Hasted Red Ranger. Yep. I was just like, uh, it was just straight up. I don't think Lad should have just been there at all. In fairness, yep. he didn't know the sentry was here, so he didn't know that the enemy team was going to have quite a base yeah. notice of him being on this wave, but like. When... Yeah, so that's a bonus ward. He's, uh, he, he, he likes, like, lane wards and stuff. But I'll tell you this much. I'll just. I'll say this much, and I'll be direct as I can about it. Uh, if you're a pause one and you're playing against a lineup that has a Primal Beast, a Clinks, a Windrunner, a Skywrath Mage, yeah, you really have to be taken pretty safe form unless your vision is yeah. goaded. And right now, there's no goaded vision on rankings of a scrub, there's just bloated vision. And it's very interesting, you do have two, uh, I would say, vision experts that are on the die here in the form of pages and wizard is just that they literally haven't been able to like get a stranglehold on their own territory in quite a long time so lots of interesting jungle items dropping here mostly for the uh mostly for the radiant the smoke okay why hasn't wizard taken the brigand's blade wizard please bro look at your jungle oh, items is that's such attack. a good lc item Roger's gonna unintentionally break this smoke here. No, he's really gonna do anything about it. Okay, Primal Beast is gonna go in, which I gotta say, very brave thing to do when you saw the pop of the why, why, why Skyrath? It doesn't seem to matter. Pudge is just about to get a billion kills. The axe is in. Ouch! Radiance Courier has been killed. Yikes. This is Ag's Pudge type gameplay, and uh, that that one fight alone has gotten him quite close to finishing up his Eternal Shroud. One eye just needs needs to rush his BKB. Yep. He's so ne much damage. Needs to rush the BKB and needs to use it well because uh, if Minoy hits the six second BKB too early in this game, I don't really know if Aquatine and Hunger Force have uh, how Hunger Force staff have really much. Hmm. Yep. Starting out with the Lincolns, he does not want to be dual Ordis membered. Which, I mean, honestly, I get that, yeah. That's probably worse than uh, any of the other options. Probably worse even than the than the Pudge ult is just if you. I mean, the thing of... is, whoever's showing else, he's just gonna do him. Like, the Skyrat showed, and she just told him. Well, the Primal oh, Beast man. showed, and then she went behind him to kill the Skyrat, so, you know. I know, but you can just wait on the Wind Ranger. That's all I'm saying. You know, if you had BKB, just, like, be patient. Just, like, you know. Take, take some important target out. 
Right. Take the fudge. Could work, but uh, that's just me. I would do that. Paige is using the courier here for a D ward. Trying to reestablish some defensive vision here. Just starting to come that's up good. a little bit. You know, this observer ward that's uh, in danger for the next 10 seconds. Yep. Why are we getting funny combat music? Oh, because else, or because Windrunner is just gonna die. Uh, that is pretty bad. Hopefully that started Three. on a duel. Two deaths uh, consecutively for uh, one eye. It's pretty bad. You must have been drinking today. Yep. That tequila. I'll take that. Ooh, LC is just super dead here. But Omni and I is gonna take a fall in turn. Yep. Honk. Pudge still has his. Or not Pudge Doom, still has his goddamn that. Pudge got the Voodoo Mask, that's interesting. Just a casual Voodoo Mask for now. Or what, whatever it's called. Is it called yep, a Voodoo Mask? It's Voodoo Mask, yeah. Okay. Is, uh, he was building a shroud, but he's decided to. Uh, Spend production to uh, get an earlier BKB. Pudge trying to uh, get the hook out on the Windrunner, but just barely whipping it. This is oh, an awkward time for to get yeah. silence. Okay, never mind, it's not that awkward. Windrunner's still gonna go down. Pudge is gonna fall, but I mean, for how bad that encounter was, getting the kill on Windrunner is probably not the worst thing in the world, though notably. Clinks has just ascended to the top of the net worth yeah. chart. Clinks farm pretty well. Yeah. Drow farm pretty bad. Yep. Not doing much better than the support line in this game. Unfortunately for uh, the Lada lads. The 1k BFJ. Pudge has decided, never mind that BKB crap, I'm going for Eternal Shroud after all. I mean, I would say not the worst idea in the world. You know... If you get if you get silence, then it, that it cancels your dismember. That totally sucks. But right now, outside of specifically the matchup with Windrunner, who's building a Lincoln's and going to make that not uh, an available option very soon. Yeah, the rod's probably more important, so the shroud's probably the better choice here. Beast gonna flee the scene here. Wants well, nothing to do with this okay. fat man. Retreats right Retreat across the room so he comes up. You were like, legged up for me. Like, half a second. What's that now? You were legged up for me for like half a second. Hey, that's okay. The viewers at home uh, don't know that. Nice. Yeah, this Clinks is pretty good. Uh, doing pretty good. LC needs to like. Just jump, just smoke and jump. Do something with the the Pudge. And... Yeah, one of the issues here is that uh, Pudge is not gonna have Blink for a while. Yeah. He doesn't have one now, and he's working on BKB instead, which means I that feel like you be... go Blink. Mm. It's gonna be hard for him to follow LC for quite a long time. I mean, yeah, 15 stacks in 24 minutes. I don't. You can you can avoid BKB for a while. Primal Beast giving off an amused roar. Also, I don't know. BKB just in general uh, doesn't feel good right now. It's pretty it's much just for the silence, I think. Like yeah. the only thing it really stops is the Skywrath Mage silence. Also, I believe blocks the Gleet near as well. So it's a uh, two decent things for it to block. But that's really all it's blocking. I don't blocking. know. I feel like you just need a blink to play with your LC. Just stop the aggression, because I don't know. Primal yeah. Skywrath and Clinks are just gonna run. Right. In your face. The Doom the Doom Midas is here. Finally, long heavy long heavy baited. The Doom Midas is here and uh, it's not in use. There That's we it. go. He nice. still has that goddamn net though. Now he's almost next to his draw. Very nice. And he's got his own blink dagger. So, I mean, if you want, if you want like a cool stun in Zoom, why not at least get like the Centaur stun if you have the blink, especially? Yeah, time to find that Centaur. That centaur camp, I don't see it anywhere though. 
barrage here with them just walking under, un unknowingly walking under Radiant Sentry. Is that certainly just no. it away? Oh. Yeah, the Sentry. The Windrunner, who has had a few minutes of just casual free farm here, is, uh... Okay, that was a bad idea. Yeah. On the long list of bad ideas, being here was number one, and trying to TP there was number two. Is this gonna hurt his ability to be mobile right when he comes up there? This is very rough for Drow. I hate to say it, but I just can't. I just can't say, in all honesty, that I feel like Drow is play. Okay, he did get this stupid stomp. I can't really say that I feel like Drow is playing this game too great. It feels like she's just taking a lot of way too risky farm, just getting cut out a lot. And Pudge is a greedy guy. Don't get me wrong, but Pudge is not really taking the last hits here, is he? He's mostly just getting kills. Yep. No, I guess he is taking last hits, but it's like, when he's taking last hits, he's just like taking last hits that are just way up in the enemy's grill. You know, I know the lanes are constantly pushed out, don't get me wrong, but I mean, this is definitely a time for... Pudge is holding out struggling. with his like 3.7k gold. Interesting. Oh, Pudge is buying something. Yep, does not want to uh, just buy up his blink, his BKB here. Oh, he's thinking blink, but... Wants to get so he his, can buy uh, two blinks. Wants to get his whole BKB at once, I guess. That's a surprise. And what a surprise it shall be. Will be a surprise, but not if Pud just walks at you with BKB. And not blink. Oh, LC! Good duel on Clinks. Completely knocks him out. Yeah, she's gonna go down for it. Very unflattering style, but... Is Doom still gonna die? You better, uh, no. better put some ground between him and that, uh, stupid Skyrath no. Mage thing. Go, Doom, go! There's the No, bro! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice hit. Good hook. Immediately, uh, though, just gets, everything gets kind of cancelled here. Pudge pulling out yeah, the BKB! I don't know, I feel like this BKB's kind of late. Like, you already kind of didn't get what you oh. wanted to get done here. Primal's taking... Gonna come in at the back of this fight. Okay. Gonna get a kill here, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was a 9 second BKB though. Yep, this is all that's happening here. And uh, the Dyer just kinda casually Welcome. right clicks Let's away. Um, okay. It's okay, nobody's gonna look, at, look for him. No one's gonna scan? Alright. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structure. Oh, he has uh, jumped uh, into a very interesting spot here. The uh, decision to not look in those trees has cost Drow her life. That was a major, yeah. uh, major Clink's burning barrage as well. Gotham going to melt for this, but if they get the pudge, it's certainly going to be worth it. Again, kind of late on that uh, Eternal Shroud. Oh no. But man, oh. no, it's oh. still going to melt! This is Doom gameplay. That's rough. I feel like uh, PPM's issue in this last, basically this last entire life for him is, uh, feels like he's getting just late on the draw with both of his uh, big items here. Like he pops the BKB after he already just gets silenced out and the dismember gets ruined. He uh, yeah. he pops the Eternal Shroud when he's got like 25 HP left anyway. You know, just like uh, you don't want to use these things too early. It is a major disaster to use the BKB too early. That much is obvious. But I do think uh, you know, a little being a little quicker on the draw here with these items would have done him a lot of good in that particular encounter. And Doom, of course, was really not able to do much there. I mean, it's not a great surprise considering his. Uh, Midas is off cooldown, and it's not being used. Not a great surprise, considering that his Doom was on cooldown during that particular fight. Alright, I want this Ogre Seal on Pudge ASAP. He has no bling, at least that can, you know, salvage it. Right. Looks like he's gonna stick with the Dragon Scale for now. Hmm, interesting. Yep. 
He wants to be the right-click and punch. I mean, I guess when you have 38 strength, you can be the right-click and punch. I mean, I don't know. Ogre Seal is just such a good mobility item. Probably my favorite item of the patch, neutral. Yeah, I don't know. I can't say I personally have had much success with it. I just feel like it's just kind of... Just very awkward to me. Something that I feel like I definitely have to use a lot to get the handle of. Yeah. So that could be just why BPM doesn't want to mess with it at this moment. He's going to kill the I second guess. Omni Night Illusion. When a nurse finished up the BKB here. Finally. Alright. Pudge is now headed straight for Blink Dagger City. Nice. Going to definitely help him quite a bit against the flanks, especially if he can avoid getting the the uh, Gleet near dropped on his head. Legion Commander has gotten herself a uh, Shadow Blade. It's looking for a very quick Silver Edge to uh, break some of the major passes on the Radiant, like... Yeah. You know, uh... <laughs> the Uproar uh, damage stacks, uh, I guess? I think it's just purely to, get, to, yeah. to catch the Clinks. Yeah, no, I don't think you need. You probably don't need to go the full Silver Edge in this particular game. You could probably just do. Eh, if you want to do the Shadow damage. Blade, you could just kind of stick with the Shadow Blade. Just leave it at that. I would say though. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's fine. What, what else is gonna go? AC. Yes. Yeah, probably AC. Silver Edge is more cool though. More fun. Yeah. There you go. Regeneration. I don't know. I feel like draw is just like a non-factor at this point. Good go AC. If you wanted to spend a whole lot of money and be an incredible uh, Richard head, as we attack. say on the broadcast, you know, you could even go for like a Radiance scam. I think this would be a pretty solid Radiance game. I don't know. It's not, it's I'm not, not an make... advocate of Radiance, but I have not tried it, so... The 45% uh, miss chance now that yeah. uh, Radiance gives you. I'm not saying it's bad, I just runner. haven't tried it, so yeah. I don't know. And in particular, you can say that uh, for a fact that unless things go particularly bad for Elsie, she should be relatively able to stay alive in some of these fights. I can see why you won't want to, especially considering it is a very high high ticket item. You know, if you're if you like take a casual spill on your way to try and getting a radiance, not only are you going to be staying at the same power level for a very long time, they can really set you back. But it's something that you radiance can do instead of the silver edge here that I think would be. Might, might as well get the halberd at that point. I don't know. Hey, the uh, that the halberd disarm doesn't work during duels, but the uh, the radiance burn always does. Uh, you know, you can you can always like you know disarm the cheeseburger and just go for the Manoi. Yeah. So uh, that's a possibility, but you could. See, then you don't get the burn, which uh, I do think actually is something that could have a pretty large impact here, especially in combination with Rod, in combination with Rod, and in combination with the Witch Doctor heal when that's actually hitting enemies. It's like three different pretty big magic DOTs just sitting on your head when that six, when that the six seconds of fun is over then it's gonna be very hard for these guys to live in that hypothetical universe either way Roche is gonna go down here yep Primal Beast gonna give an amused roar Radiant just totally sneaks it out here Quick TP's bottom yep and Primal is looking fine yep the Omni Knight is going to uh, stop that duel from being a success here Yep. Yeah, the really Omni. Yeah. Omni has so much impact this game. And again, I mean, in fairness, it's not like Pudge had really any option to get out there, but it did. That did just kind of feel like, uh, you know, two guys going different directions in that particular fight. I feel like Peaches is always getting caught. She just needs to, like, step behind her LC or something, I don't know. Or the Pudge. Get a Glimmer Cape, easy money. Yeah, get something. Just sit behind course. 
this point. I, I do gotta say, I do think it's very unfortunate that it's 35 minutes and it feels like Drow Ranger isn't even kind of ready to fight yet. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That's why I said it, she's Dyer's kind of like a non-factor at this point. Yeah. Sky hath mage just bought some tranquil boots. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Okay, please, bro. I'm gonna flame this so hard. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like the, uh, the Ice Shaman thing. It doesn't do that much damage. It's actually that not that good. I mean, hey, he could just be holding onto this temporarily. Notably, he has his uh, get skills on eating creeps thing still. Yeah, um, I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, Thunder Hide is good though. Replace it. If he gets a Thunder Hide frenzy, put it on LC. Yep. I put it on LC. Can actually kind of put it on Podge. I mean, their their damage at this point in the game is actually kind of comparable, <laughs> which is a yeah. funny thing. Which, uh, in fairness, you know, LC does have 94 dual damage, but. For 36 minutes, that's perhaps not that's exactly not great, yeah. Yeah, that's not what you great. wanted. I don't know. I feel like Radiant should just win now, like, unless they take like a really bad fight. Radiant structures are fortified. The biggest interesting thing here is uh, the Radiant does only actually have a 1k gold lead, and actually sub 1k gold lead. They're not actually winning the economic war to a very significant degree. Yeah, but from a scale perspective, it's yeah. like, you know, 10k. Manoid just randomly says question mark in, uh, in the alt chat. Omni Knight is There's, a, there's a throwback from one wizard to yeah, the yeah. question mark. Ooh, the primal axe. Did nothing. Yep. I thought you were going to eat the uh, Skyrath Mage. So overall, that's LC and Doom, the cumulative offline for Skyrath Mage and the Clink's Aegis, which is, like, not the best trade in the world. Feels like that's kind of the best trade these guys can make, but, eh. Still probably not overall great. Yeah, Dyer ends up losing money off of that as a result. A lot of it goes right into Windrunner's pocket. They need to like push waves really efficiently. Like, I don't think they're pushing waves efficiently enough on Radiant. Just, I don't know. Monai needs to like. Does Monai have bots or what? He does. Yeah, bots. Yeah, I don't know. TP man, bot man just wants kills, what can I tell you? Yeah, that's that's what he does. He, he knows he can just like split and choke them, but no. Let's get kills. Yep. Pudge, uh, it seems, says. Much later on here, decided to go for the Ogre Seal Totem after all. After some consideration. Some heavy deliberation, yep. LC's got that pen edge sword, which is uh, always a good item for her. Uh, I feel like Ogre Seal is just made for Pudge, honestly. It's so good. Peaches accidentally uses a salve or something. Or just chooses to get rid of it for one reason or another. Going straight for the eggs here, which I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a pipe dream, to be honest with you. No defensive items. Okay. Pudge uses BKB to try Those and get all the Skyrim damage. That's pretty dead. Huh. Pudge just simply cannot stand up to this physical damage at this point. Yeah. This is where, like, a more conventional pause three than, like, the LC, it feels like definitely could be coming in handy in this game, because nobody, nobody can either tank up the front, the, like, front line the damage from flanks and Windrunner, or, like, stop it entirely. Like, nobody's and really they, built that. Nobody. They, like, really need to kill the Clinks early on with the LC and, like, Pudge, with the Pudge Blink. That's why I wanted the Blink on Pudge. But now it's just like too late. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Clinks is just clinks. Then clinks things. Where's my backdoor attack. protection, bro? Dyer's bottom tower is Backdoor boys. Hey, they won that season. Hey, you were on yeah. that team, weren't you? 
Yeah, I'm Dusty. You, you were on that team, team, whether or not you're pretending to be Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I mean, who is it, Dusty at this point? No it, it, it is the funniest offlane lore, like, uh... The, the offlane this season is basically the cumulative offlane of backdoor boys who played a roughly similar amount of games yeah. on that team to each other. So, you know, two guys filled the same job, you know? It's the, it's the comeback arc of uh, Dusty. Yeah, that's true. I think he's made, like, all but one game this season, and that one game he had apparently, like, some really cracked uh, stand-in. It's supposed to be, like, a smurf or something. Yeah, and we <laughs> That was so weird, actually. And he still only went 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Shows the power of being 10, you know? The power of Oxyclean. How come nobody Ooh. talks about that when they're making these funny power rankings, huh? Cool. LC just gonna take a very easy free duel win off of the Skyrath Major, just kind of unwittingly standing under a sentry ward. But I mean, Skyrath Mage, just at this point, just to be blunt, honest with you, is really not like any kind of impact player for the Radiant. It really just does not mean much, so... It, that was like more more about the dual win than it was about Dust? anything Doom? else. Doom pops his dust early. Alright, no Doom. That was so sad. That was the perfect moment to get him. But yeah. Um, you don't get moments like that. Ice Frog giveth, Katsu taketh away. Yeah. Is unfortunate. Just uh. Oh no! I like this. It's a product of hesitation here. I think maybe the pressure is kind of getting on for. Uh, Mister Boomer, Boomer like hands. It's so, like rankings. The rankings lineup. Maybe they're getting very like defeatist about this game. Even when they're presented advantage, it's just like. They have to consciously think about the advantage that they're about to take so much that they're just letting it slip through their hands. And the yeah, but bro, it's not it's not over until it's over. Okay, now it's over, maybe. We will see. gonna get completely hammered here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Doom goes out on, uh, who? Who Doom? Okay, now hold on. I hate to interrupt this fight in the middle of it. Yeah. Who the hell got Doom? Did, did they do the uh, classic Jackie Chan creep Doom or what? Oh god, he better not have. <laughs> no, oh, he the doomed Lincoln the Windrunner Lincoln Sphere. Okay, that's what happened. Music Commander duel on the uh, on the Skyrim offside. I mean, honestly, that just uh... needs to stop happening. He just means so little to this game. That's exactly yeah. what he wants, basically. Like, at this point in the game, Skyrath Mage's biggest contribution is that people hit him instead of, like, a valuable core. Yeah. The LC Lincoln's popping again. Not the LC, Winter Lincoln's popping again. LC gonna go down. Clink's on a triple kill streak. It's looking like the, uh, likely the end of the road here for rankings of a scrub. One of these rare punch losses this season. Rampage? No rampage. Yep, Cheeseburger actually just has to, uh, Vemoose. Oh, or maybe? maybe? Oh, you get yeah. the rampage and That's then the immediate score. death. Here's a blade in your eye. Thank you, Joseph. It's a duel. I'm gonna are just gonna beat a retreat and they're out of there. Uh -huh. Which, uh, I mean, that looks like that. that's not that bad for this lineup, but like it. Yeah, it is. That really was not worth all the investment for rankings of Scrub. Again, you know, one thing about Clinks, and I think maybe people forget this sometimes. Clinks is very cast dependent, right? Like, Clinks, he very, very much needs, you know, he needs to be able to put down the Burning Barrage, he needs to be able to put down his stupid skeletons. Roche is going to be up in 23 seconds, but Wizza ain't going to know that. He needs to be able to use his skills if he wants to, uh, if he wants to actually win a fight. That duel, especially when he hasn't built any defensive items for it, it's very scary. I understand completely why you wouldn't want to do it. 
But just remember, all that damage is coming off this Q. If he can't Q you, and he can if you're in a duel, his damage output, it goes down really dramatically. Like, to the point where he's doing way less damage than you, and he has way less... Well, actually, no, he has more health, but I think that's just if he has the, uh... The Death Pack buff. Yeah, the Death Pack buff with the Heavenly Grace is actually insane. He has, like, 6k HP or something? I don't know. I'm gonna try and tear down a rush here. A lot of and just ran the fight in a pot. Oh, Watch, you're gonna take the Aegis. Paige is gonna hold on to this shard. Could potentially go on to the LC. Potentially go on to the Pudge. Could potentially go on to the Doom. Uh, yeah, let's see three options here. I don't know if any of those are great. Okay. And again, Doom is just gonna completely eat it before anything really happens. Yep. It's really not good. If there is one very ironic but true consolation on this uh, on this particular lineup, it's like. The enemy team is so good at just casually picking off Doom that he's not able to actually just drop it on anybody, which is kind of funny. It's usually, you know, that's Doom strength. He's just randomly able to just drop Doom on you, and then no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, you know, you just got that. You basically just have to be picked. But, like, Doom, he just, he just dies. He's just dying all the time, and for some insane reason, he's decided that the solution to that is a, uh... Refresh your orb, and then he decided maybe not Radiant going scanning. for the uh, Lotus Orb here instead, which I don't know. I feel like uh, Doom is getting just so surprised so frequently this game. Uh, the, like, there's just not going to be many situations where he actually gets the Lotus Orb off before he dies, which is kind of the chief downside of the item. He also has a Blade Mail. Yep. Interesting. This fine, everyone has BKB, so I don't know. Just has that blame mail for the Windrunner. Yeah, but he ha she has BKB. So. Yep. Well, blame mail uh, doesn't interact with BKB unless it's actually magic damage, I don't believe. Let's smoke it. Okay. In BKB, you like don't get the blade mail damage, I think. Well, at the very least, that used to be the case, but I don't believe that it's happening. I don't think. The uh, duel on Clank just completely goes nowhere. He just has so many boss put on his head. Well, okay, maybe this could go somewhere, but again, they don't have the actual vision for Clank, so. Bonus, no buyback. If Doom has decided that this, uh. Doom has decided that his, uh. Wind Lace is more important than having dust on him. Good turnaround fight there, though. They just completely forced Clinks to round take out the three and under club, which at this point is kind of a victory. Clinks is also basically as scary as he's ever going to be, so if you can survive the Clinks now, you can always live past him. I tell you one thing that would be great, even though I don't know who the hell would be able to get it, would be really good to be able to get Nolly this game, just get Nullifier. Yeah. Which Although the X. Burn Ranger has the undispellable thing, the Talon, right? Uh, I believe so, yeah, but. I mean, she what, she what, you care, what you care about is not getting rid of the uh, Wind Run so much. It's, I mean, it's about getting the rid of the stack of 19 buffs that are on Clinks at any given time. I mean, he didn't even go for the Talon, so it doesn't matter. Strength blink in backpack. Honestly, I know it's uh, I know it sounds like a major downgrade, and again, you can see the uh, blade mail from Doom here really yeah. coming in handy. Uh, the strength blink, not the strength blink, the uh, strength downgrade here seems like it could be rather bad, but maybe Doom could even just, you know, throw away the uh, as as hard as this would be to stomach, perhaps throw away the uh, Ancient Thunderhide skills and go find one of the Purge Creeps in the jungle. I mean, even that would just do a lot for this team, I think. Like a, a lot more than it feels like that Thunderhide skill is doing for him, anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah. And you can you can purge the heavenly grace, right? So. Yep. I believe you can purge literally everything Omni Knight has that's a buff. I think yeah. you can purge his ult. You can. Purge you couldn't do that a few patches earlier, but now you can. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's also good defensively if you have that particular par purge. We have a witch bane actually. They better not have like a witch bane just sitting in the stash. No, they don't. Very unfortunate. This would have been a great game to have one. Oh, this is BKB in his backpack. Yep, sitting on that Aegis for a grand total right. of three seconds. We'll just never able to use it. Man smoke here, rankings of a scrub. Going south, taking a look at uh, the Primal Beast and the Skywrath Mage. What they don't know is that the rest of the team is also kind of here. Yep. Funnily enough, a second smoke came out for Radiant for five, so. Flinks is not here Scan though. The they can, they can catch someone. Well, I'm just gonna find the winner here. Um. Now I can't dismember the uh, Lincoln Sphere, remember? Oh yeah. Crown yeah. Beast is gonna go down very casually here. Doom, do something. Oh, he's already doomed. Okay. Uh, the Clinks is here, fight is over. Well, Clinks. Yeah, Clinks got here rather soon. He was kinda mount for a while, but. That ended eventually. That's the die back on Pudge. And it is, uh. Yeah. That uh, is a wrap up. Yep. Bonus says he has to pee. And, uh, I believe that's the end of the road here for rankings. One of these rare Pudge losses. Seems like they are starting to build up more. I guess people are starting to, uh. Find some more things to do about Pudge, which is to say, completely sideline the rest of his team, because, uh. Oh, I mean, he has been winning some 1v5s, but just not this game. The physical damage output here was just too strong. Yeah. I mean, remember when I branched the blink on Pudge? That's when they needed to, like, make plays and actually do something. But they didn't do it, and then... I think there was, uh, I think maybe there was too much, uh, too much thought on the part of the Legion Commander. On trying to okay, we got some buybacks. These guys ain't gonna let this go. I think there is perhaps too much thought given to trying to get the dual ones for LC rather than just using stri strategically using the dual as a pending maneuver. Like just so many of these fights, he was just on Skyrath. He's just like totally done by that point in the game, more or less. Which is again, it's exactly what Gotham wants you to do. He wants you to duel him. He wants you to not duel the clinks. Because if you duel the clinks, you're gonna change the fight really dramatically. But uh, if you duel them, nothing happens. LC just won a double duel though, so that's pretty good for her. Doom okay. is just gonna casually die, having accomplished nothing. No BKB? Yep. Okay, oh. he's gonna BKB here. But Manoi just lost a monster kill streak. But again, oh. they just can't catch the Clinks, and it doesn't matter. Like, they can. If they don't kill Clinks, they have no way to win this game. And I don't no, think they, like, they I do think guys. missing that kill just completely on them there. Because you're never going to be able to push into this guy, like, ever. Yeah. Just, uh, got an Ag synth, I believe, yep. So now he has, uh, even more skeletons to throw out. I think they just needed to make, like, a mid-game decision. Okay, our draw is, like, not going to do anything this game. Just, like, get Blink on Pudge and just run at them and... You know, go go on them before they can initiate on you. Right. Some animal Dota. See if it works out. ATHF gonna hang on the rush bit here. But he's gonna see it. And he's gonna try and do strength blink on something, but bonus actually using the courier there to kind of uh, fake where he's about to go. Like pretend he's go he's somewhere that he's not. 58 seconds to Roche. Radiant. Quick Roche fight. Radiant. 
I can tell you one thing for a fact. This Doom needs to hit Clanks. It needs to hit nobody else at this point, I think. Like, if you Doom anybody else, you're a sucker. You're just wasting your ult. You also need to not die at the start of the fight. Yeah. And just smoke yourself solo. Doom and... sold his blade mail. That is sad. No, that's fine, I think. That's... I mean, yeah. there's a way in which it's fine that Blade Mail wasn't doing anything with him, but also he just lost like, what, like over a thousand gold in that exchange? Yeah. That is not great. There was a game back when the, uh, you know, in the old version of the Tiny Ags, right? The old, uh, which basically is, it's his shard now. There was a game back in the old version of the Tiny Ags that I uh, bought Ags, and then right after I got it, I accidentally fat finger sold it uh, in Fountain, not even to the instant <laughs> sell back, and I was like, God damn it! <laughs> Worst thing that's ever happened to me, except for many other things. Budgeting out the 30 that's the... Okay, easy rush. Yep. Can't really be interrupted to any I guess real degree. They accepted the. Uh... They don't want to fight this. But I don't know. I don't feel like your high ground defense is that great anyway, so. Omni and I just got his axe. We're just gonna make that uh, Guardian Angel uh, buff really annoying for them to deal with. Yeah. You already don't really have any uh, pressing ability to do anything yeah. about the normal version of this spell, let alone the super cool extended duration global version. That is really going to make these fights rough for these guys. Uh, someone need a nullifier on Dire? Just anyone. Maybe Doom could also use an Aeon Disc like which Doctor picked up. Like maybe that was the play here. Doom should have got a nullifier, honestly. Yeah, he could have got the Nolly, but I mean, what use is the Nolly if he dies two seconds in every every fight anyway? He can't even cast it. He just gets jumped on every time, right? Yeah. Okay. Get the LC never comes out on uh, Skyrath Mage. Does yeah. not actually even succeed. I'm getting a little torn up by the skeleton, but not enough to care that much. Clancy is just wiping them from the back, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Open Ranger. I thought you were gonna go for the uh, winner right here. Alright, I mean, going on bonus at the start of the fight probably isn't the move, in my opinion. Yeah, going, going for bonus at the start of the fight was the move. It's just going on just bonus the at the start of the fight. Yeah, I mean, it's a move you want to make. It's just the move that you don't want to make is you go on bonus at the beginning of the fight, you don't actually kill him, and then you have to doom him. Like, yeah, that's that's instant game over for the fight right there. Like, the the fact they had to use the the, the doom for the Omni Knight just killed any chance they win this particular uh, game. Pudge has died back. Fire goes gonna try and die. And succeed. And succeed. Yeah. Peter calls the GG's and we're getting out of town. Yeah, I mean as I said, I just like the lineup better. Alright. Why are you question mark? Why are you question mark? Your ass. Damn! <laughs> Toxic. Dude, that's exactly what Manoy would say in this situation, though, so, you know. <laughs> I can't really blame PBM too much for saying that. Alright, here's a brief rundown. Katsu clearly has not played enough Doom to run it as a pause for an LD2L. I think you need to be more familiar with Doom than this to make this strategy work, and he was not. That much, I think, is just a simple Please simplest, don't go Midas if you're the early game lineup. Yeah, don't go Midas if you're the early game Midas. Especially don't go Midas if you're the early game lineup and you're also the pause for. Yeah. Um, Drow Ranger, 
I feel like not leveling Gust in lane was a mistake that just trailed on her the entire game. Yep. You know, Clink's got smashed in lane too. If Drow Ranger was at least able to just go parody, and I think with Gust she could have, then we could have really been looking at a very different game, but she wanted and those Drow had out. these moments where she would just go bottom lane and just die, like randomly, so. Yeah, a lot of lads went to the meth school of randomly feeding sometimes for no reason, I guess, in this particular game. Yeah, I didn't get a single point in Gust till level 9, at which point it just felt like it was just way too late. I think that's really yeah. it in general. It's like uh, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force staff lineup got such a massive advantage so early on that it was just an insane uphill battle for rankings of a scrub. Pudge got a bunch of fat stacks, but like not enough to literally 1v5 in a game with so much fizz damage, which he really didn't build anything about until he got the Shiva's Guard rather late in the game. Um, neither the Doom, the LC, nor the Witch Doctor ever bought anything to help with the Fizz damage, which is bad considering, I mean, that was like, that was so close to 100% of ATHS damage output that you could say that the magic damage and like the, what little pure damage there was basically falls in the margin of error this game. We really needed to see, like, uh, I mean, really, we just needed to see Doom in this game, I think, build more like a, like a conventional boss three, perhaps. No, just get an Can't AC. Get an here. AC on uh, the Legion Commander. I don't think the AC is going to do. Back, well. Wraith back. is good also. Wraith back, better. yeah. The Wraith back was good. Rankings of a Scrub just built all offense, and they still just could not actually beat the uh, Glass Cannon King that is Clinks. I feel like uh, with Clinks, if you can't just completely sideline them, you just need to build defensively for them. And I think there's just plenty of fights where things go way differently with even like a small amount. Like even something like a Crimson Guard, which is probably not exactly what you want. Well, actually, no, Crimson Guard would be, be pretty good this game because, you know, Windrunner just absolutely hates looking at that until she gets Daedalus, which is going to come way later than that. The uh, Clinks is going to hate it for a long time. It's going to get rid of, I mean... I mentioned earlier, most of his damage comes from abilities, but I mean, if you get Crimson, literally all he's got is to like go around that is his Burning Barrage. And of course, whoever picks it up gets a lot of armor and some, you know, some nice stats. So I feel like, uh, like a Doom getting a fairly early Crimson Guard over like the, uh, over like the, 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 the Scythe, mail, for example. Or, yeah, the Scythe, which in fairness, he got the Scythe really late. That's what he sold the Blame Mail to get, right? Like, uh,. You know, the Doom picking it up relatively early could have probably changed a lot. I don't know. PPM uh, and Enco decides to go all in, balls to the wall offensive, and it just doesn't go... Oh, and the uh, the communication issues early on in the game. Oh, that must have also really just been painful. I feel like those uh, early game comline issues are probably part of the reason that LC's dual win. Like, it, her, her amount of dual damage is still a little low, even though it was a hour-long game. Oh well, we'll see what happens next time.